Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rukal Kadash. All right, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten Son by Hashem Rukal Kadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right, this is the name of the Lord, and we have to call upon the name of the Lord to be saved and delivered. All right, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millsol, all right, who rule well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom wa barakim la bukari. Peace and blessings to the elect. Lord's will, this will be an edifying video. And uh, I was just looking up this word, persistent. And um, it means continually, continuing, firmly, or obstinately in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition, right? Continuing to exist or endure over a prolonged period. So essentially, it, it's endurance. It means endurance. Um, it says obstinately in a course of action. So against something. So like going against the grain. All right. If you go into the Edom, persistent, it says enduring. At first, mostly in, in botany. Um, and it says from persistence. All right. So when you go to persistence, it says steady or firm adherence to or continuance in a state course of action or pursuit that has been entered upon especially if more or less obstinate all right and essentially this this is the a characteristic or attribute that we need in this faith all right we have to persist okay we have to be persistent until the very end all right so let's go ahead and get um i'm gonna get this uh Let's see. This is First uh, Timothy chapter six, verse twelve. Fight the good fight of faith, all right? Because being in this uh, ministry, okay, it is it is a fight. It is a fight. It is a race, okay. That's going to take persistent effort each and every day, all right. And we have to continue to fight, okay. Lay hold on eternal life. Lay hold means to hold firmly on eternal life because this world is trying to take it from us. All right, but Yahweh Bashim is stronger than, than this world. All right, so through our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, we're going to be able to obtain that eternal life. This world, tribulation, nothing's going to be able to separate us from our end goal. Okay? It says, whereon two thou art also called because we were called unto this. Okay, when we uh, came across a YouTube video, or we came across different brothers street preaching. That was us being called by the Heavenly Father through His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, unto eternal life. It says, and that's professed a good profession before many witnesses. And now we're professing this before the world. Okay? So I'm going to read that again. Fight the good fight of faith. They hold on eternal life for unto thou art also called. And that's professed a good profession before many witnesses. We have to fight. All right? This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Right, Yahweh Shai, he, he, he has called us to be strong in this grace period that we find ourselves in. Okay, it says, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. And the faithful men, which we hope to be a part of the elect, they're going to endure. And the things that we learn. We're supposed to teach those things and speak those things to the brethren, to the brotherhood. We're supposed to exhort one another, build each other up, admonish each other, warn each other. All right. So that we're prepared and that we can have everything, uh, all the intangibles within us to endure unto the end. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. I'm going to continue. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, it says, but he that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved. This is a thing of endurance. We have to endure unto the end. Okay, and this this uh this race that we're on, all right, there's a lot of different obstacles and things that we have to overcome. All right. Second Timothy 2 and 3 says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. And that's what we need to do. All right, Yahweh Shai has called us, and we're soldiers, we're fighters. And we have to endure hardness, okay, which is 
tribulation and difficult times. Okay, whether it be actual physical tribulation or whether it be spiritual tribulation, man. Because the scriptures say, "What we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities." There's different demonic entities, different demonic forces that we have to fight against. That's pulling us and, and holding us back. But through prayer and supplication unto the unto the Lord, that's how we're going to overcome those things. All right, verse verse four says, "And supplication means to beg." We have to beg the Lord each and every day. All right. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 4. It says, No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. Okay. And this is another way we fight to endure. We don't get entangled or, or trapped up in the different things in this life, the affairs of this life, the business, the obligations of this world. All right. It says that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. All right. So, this truth is our first priority, all right? And nothing in this world is going to is gonna take us away from this truth so that what we could please him who has called us to be a soldier, which is the Lord. All right, the Lord has called us into this thing. And Lord willing, we uh, have the persistence to make it through all the way, all right? Now I want to get Matthew 7. Okay, it says, enter ye in at the straight gate. It says, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Okay? And I believe when you go into that word straight, we know it means difficult. All right? But it also goes into obstacles. All right? Because this faith has a lot of different obstacles that you have to hurdle over. You have to jump over. And once you overcome that one, there's another one. Boom. You have to hurdle over. You have to jump over that one. Right? All right? But this is the path that leads to life. If you don't want to overcome these little obstacles, you got to go in at the broad gate. But we just read the broad gate leads to destruction. All right. So it says, enter in at the straight gate. For wide is a gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Every single way outside of this faith, this ministry is going to lead unto death, man. The scriptures say there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end there, but the end thereof are the ways of death. All right. It says that many there be which go in the right. The, the whole world, the majority of our people, that's the way that they're headed, man. They're headed to damnation. They're headed to destruction. Okay. The scriptures say, let the multitude perish, which were born in vain. We don't want to be a part of that multitude that is going to perish. We want to be a part of that small remnant whom the Lord has preserved from the foundation of earth to receive life. And that small remnant. Is going to be on this straight course. This is uh, verse 14. It says, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it, that few is the elect. All right. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get Corinthians. I'm going to get, uh, get Corinthians 15. And I also want to get um, 1 Corinthians 9. This is 1 Corinthians uh, 15. I get, I'll start verse 57. It says, But thanks be to the Heavenly Father, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Because that's how we're going to be able to um, endure. You're not going to be able to endure off of your own merit, your own abilities, your own determination. Now, the only way for us to endure is, through us to, is for us to lean upon Yahweh Shai. All right? Because Yahweh Shai, he did it first. All right? He endured and, and, and made it through his difficult journey and, and went on the cross and, and died for our sins and now through us having faith in him, now we're able to do the same thing. All right, we're able to bear our cross and endure unto the end and fight the good fight. All right, but Yahweh Shah did it first. He gained the victory first. Through, now through us leaning on him, we're going to be able to do it. All right, verse 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, Always abounding in the work of the Lord For as much as you know that your labor Is not in vain in the Lord So us laboring in this is not a thing of vanity It's going to lead unto something Of great value which is the kingdom Alright but the point is It says be steadfast and unmovable man. Those those words are synonymous With persistent or Enduring Okay Now this is uh, 1 Corinthians Chapter 9 And verse 24 says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? 
So run that you may obtain. All right, so what? We're in this race, and we're not running this race to lose, man. We're in this thing to win it. Verse 25 says, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Everyone that's striving to be great in this world. All right, sports is a great example. They're temperate in all things. You're different athletes. They make sure that they work out every week. They make sure that they're on a strict diet. They don't go over a certain type of calorie. All right, they don't go over a certain amount of protein, carbs, fats each day. They make sure they get an adequate amount of rest. They make sure they don't drink alcohol. They make sure they don't party. All right, this, that's temperance. That's discipline. Okay, and they're doing that to obtain a, a corruptible crown, man. All right, now we in this faith, we do the same thing, but in the spirit. Okay? We're, we're disciplined in the spirit. All right, it says now that they do it to obtain a corruptible, but we an incorruptible, and we're going to obtain the incorruptible crown for doing this, for being temperate. In the spirit, man, having discipline in the spirit, making sure we go to camp faithfully every week, making sure we read the scriptures throughout the week, making sure we pray to the to the Lord throughout the week, making sure we fast, okay, making sure we uh, do these little videos, these little sit downs. This is how we're temperate, and through us continuing in this, continuing in the work, continuing in the faith, continuing in the ministry, that's going to lead unto us inheriting an incorruptible crown. All right, meaning it's not going to fade away, it's not going to decay, it's not going to perish. But the reward we're going to receive is going to be forever, man. All right. It says, matter of fact, let me get this quick precept real quick. Quick one. Uh, this is um, Psalms chapter 37 and verse uh, 18. It says, the the Lord knoweth the days of the upright. The upright are the ones that have this faith. It says, and their inheritance shall be forever. So what we're going to inherit is going to be forever. All right. Verse 26, it says, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly. So fight I, not as one that beateth the air. We're not, we're not doing this. We're not going through the motions. Okay, we're not doing this in vain. All right, we're doing this with the... Uh, we're doing this with um, intense focus. We're hyper-focused on this. All right. Verse 27 says, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. We rule over our spirit. All right. We don't let the flesh overtake us. Okay. We constantly strive to walk in the spirit. It says, Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And that's an individual who doesn't endure until, until the end, a castaway, which we hope not to be. So that's why what? We, we keep on our body. We rule over our spirit. All right. So Lord's will, this was edifying. Again, I was just meditating on the word persistent. Got some scriptures on it. I'm going to give all praise, this glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yabshai, Ba'ashim, Rekha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Ruwell, and who has taught us this truth. Shalom, Wabarakim, Labakari, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.